Hello my friends, I am finally back. It's been a while. There were some uh, changes in my life coming, good news, but too soon to tell. Therefore, I moved to the garage. And uh, without further ado, I have another app that's been recently released, I believe, uh, that I want to introduce it to you guys. So let's get to it. I am going to switch to my desktop. All right. It's going to be uh, Mishkapate, if I'm not mistaking the uh, mispronouncing it. Anyways, it is a great AI motion capture tool that recently been uh, released. Just like on a daily basis, we keep uh, seeing new things coming out. And for... People who are similar in my uh, field, which is like VFX for a little bit more other than the social media use, but more into um, uh, feature film, TV and commercials. That's where my curiosity lies of how these technologies might get bought out by these bigger um, companies and ingested just like uh, Wander Dynamic did with Autodesk, for example. Um, so... Without further ado, let me uh, quickly go over the UI for people that who have been uh, who are not familiar with. Uh, this is basically the vault where all your um, captured devices or used footage is going to be laying on. Um, this is the editor where um, you can edit your avatar, whichever, whatever you want to use. Uh, female, male, metric, and imperial, and height, and all the other things that are very uh, standard in all the uh, avatar customization. Uh, you have poses here, where you have the regular T pose, the A pose, and uh, W and the U. The other cool thing that I really liked about um, this app is that it also gives you hand poses, which, you know, where... We apply the motion capture to all these uh, characters on all the other ones and all the hands are like stiff and uh, you have to manually go and add a new layer on the uh, hands. But this one already has a preset which kind of makes it easier for uh, faster iterations. Uh, so this was pretty smart, um, I think. And um, Moving to the next uh, UI, these are, you know, the motions that already come with it as a preset. I think uh, you can also apply your captured motion uh, through on this uh, avatar as well, which I'll go through it later. And uh, these are just the uh, uh, textures that they've already had in their presets, which I believe that is just going to get more and more as they develop. Uh, moving on to the next tab, which is the photo, which you can just upload your own photo uh, in a specific pose that you need, and it will try to replicate the same pose. And uh, in this case, we use this one, uh, which, which is interesting because the thumbnail that's showing, it's... Um, oh, uh, in the thumbnail that's showing the grayscale, it looks pretty accurate, but when I generated it, it looks it's different so if anyone knows how to you find refine these please let me know uh there's also a uh drag and drop uh 3d scan of uh, the object if it accepts obj um and also you have videos where i use some of my own videos and uh, this sample as well which we're gonna go take a look at so this is the vault I'm quickly just going to go to the photo generated pose, which I just mentioned. Obviously, the axis is um, different, which you have to manually rotate in your own uh, 3D software. I wonder if there is a place here that you can um, rotate the actual GL. Uh, I can't see any. I just uh, installed this recently, so I'm kind of new to the UI as well. I have to... Uh, Get to that as well. Yeah, these are not it. Um, anyways, but uh, again, uh, this is great uh, for you know for something that you want to get really quick. And uh, again, all these tools are definitely not perfect and not 
you know, some not something that could uh, be implemented without any iterations. But looking at the bigger picture is these tools are going to make our work easier. Uh, that's the whole um, intention of these every new tool that's coming out. It's none of us want a UV map. None of us want to wait 20 minutes for render time. Uh, you know, none of us want to clean up an animation, for example. Uh, so all these uh, technical repetitive stuff that usually have a lower value in our workforce, uh, these are the things that uh, will more likely get uh, refined by the use of these new uh, tools that are coming out. So moving on from the, you know, still image and... Uh, static pose we're gonna go to vault again and I'm gonna choose you know I'm gonna choose the preset that they already had just to showcase you know uh, how capable this app is in terms of the accuracy of motion capture obviously again you need to clean up with the camera you need to clean up of the you know the foot holding and also some uh, in between uh, movements but again this is really this is, this took me probably uh, less than five minutes to generate this. So uh, things are getting much, much faster, which is great because the less technical it is for, you know, visual artists like me, the easier I can get to the final look that I want to. And the more time I can spend on, you know, the final look of the work rather than dealing with technical uh, stuff. Uh, so... This was great. However, um, I used another multi-person motion capture. And this was a video that you can obviously see that it's not working. Let me actually bring... I wonder where did the UI go? Would be a load. Follow avatar. There you go. So if you... I don't want to follow the avatar. Uh, if you look at my main video, this is definitely way off. And uh, I, you know, there might be a reason that my background is not clear enough and our heads get chopped off of the, of the frame. So that could be a good thing to test, which I have a feeling that is one of the reasons. So, um... We should take it, you know, we should also take that as well of why this also failed. So I'll be doing more tests uh, with multiple characters and see how with a better background, see how um, it functions. It's it's fair and not fair because if you really want to do a motion capture, you're not going to be recording it in this kind of environment. Although uh, testing it with Wonder Dynamic, I think in this case, Wonder Dynamic does do a better job at um, getting an accu more accurate uh, motion capture. And uh, anyways, I think, uh, yeah, and then this, 